Goody, uh, Star Defender for Dublin Senior Ladies Footballers. Rachel, thanks for joining us and uh, taking a few no minutes to speak to us. Um, you won the All Ireland in 2010, and your force is always special. But is beating the standard bearers of the last decade in Cork in an All Ireland final the pinnacle for every player and the one that they will be measured by? Yeah, definitely. But I suppose when you get to an All Ireland final, every team you're going to be playing against are going to be a massive side. So. Yeah, we're looking forward to the to the final on the day, and we'll just bring our best game, and hopefully it'll be enough. Okay, and um, throughout the championship, the Dublin defence has been particularly mean as far as giving away goal chances to the opposition. What do you think the reasons are for this? I think we've been just practicing a lot of defensive drills at training, and it's been really coming together. The forwards we have uh, playing against us at training are just so fast, so sharp. So it's been brilliant for bringing up our defensive levels and. We've been working a lot on discipline and training, so yeah, it's really coming together the last while. And have the forwards been helping look by tracking back to, to help the defence out as well? Has that been another major factor? Yeah, I think even when you see players like Lindsay Pete coming back in the semi-final to, to do a, a massive block at a really important time, it's great and it really lifts the team. So we have definitely got forwards that will sacrifice and come back and get those blocks in. It's great yeah, to see. I remember that I remember <laughs> that blocker ahead, yeah, she stayed down for a few <laughs> minutes afterwards. Um, Valerie Mulcahy is excellent in dead balls from, for Cork. Uh, it's going to be very important for Dublin to be disciplined in the tackle. Have, have Dublin been working on a plan to keep the free count down? Well, all year, one of our main things we work as a, as a defensive unit is to try and keep our discipline levels really, really high. So, yeah, it'll be the same for the final. We'll just keep working it on the day and hope it comes through. Okay, and uh, a couple of the Cork players played in the all Ireland Camogie finals on Sunday, and you're a very accomplished Camogie player yourself. Is it too difficult with the demands today to pay both codes at the same time? Yeah, massive respect to them to be able to do both codes. It is, it's a, it's a really big um, ask now. Um, hopefully myself, maybe at some point in the future, I might be able to get the two of them going, but just at the moment, it's not an option for me. Okay. And uh, who, who's going to be the biggest threat from Cork as far as the, their forwards are, are concerned? Well, I suppose having marked Valerie Mulcahy in the league final here, um, I'd definitely be looking out for her. But um, they've got strong fours all over the pitch, so um, it's going to be a, a danger to us all over the pitch. But we're, we're well prepared and we're looking forward to it. Okay. And what advice would you be giving to some of the younger players? You've had uh, Leah Caffrey and Marta Bourne playing alongside you there in the defence um, from, from the under-21s. Um, th if they're going to be picked for the final, what advice will you give them about handling the occasion with the experience you've already had in 2010? Yeah, well, I remember in 2010, I had more senior players around me and telling me just to treat it like another match. It's another big day um, and just get out there and play your normal game. And that's what I'd be saying to those girls as well. They've got great heads on, on young shoulders and they'll be fine. I know they will. Okay, that's great. Thanks for All joining right. us.